So based on tonight's speech, it's very clear that the president is remaining in the White House to finish his term, but not seeking re-election. And as somber and sad as it is, he passed the torch on to his vice president, which is Kamala Harris. And I am happy and I'm enthusiastic that he endorsed her, although the way he had to exit the race was still sad. I'm still sad out of those 33 um, Democrats in the House and the Senate combined, but I digress. So it's gear mode and it's battle time to make sure the vice president gets elected to the White House. So whomever she chooses, because I know there's like a whole battle online. I'm not engaging in that because I don't want those kind of problems. Let's all get the vice president elected because at this point, she's getting attacks again. These birtherism attacks are coming back again. These attacks of sleeping her way to the top is coming again from the folks that, you know, got their merits through, was it nepotism and just looking the way they look. But anyhow, let's all come together, unite, and to make sure Vice President Harris gets elected as our first woman, black woman, South Asian descent. Vice, I mean, President of the United States of America.